Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. When I started applying for jobs, I saw that my CV was getting rejected in the first step itself. I did a lot of research on this and I spent some huge amount of time working on my CV and cover letter. And I thought it would be worthwhile sharing my insights here. When you apply for a job, your CV usually goes through something which is called an applicant tracking system, an ATS, some other third party or AI based systems. So there is a high probability that your CV gets rejected at this stage itself. So it is very important to work on your CV and cover letter. Of course, there are many other resources out there which tell you a lot about this, but I thought it would be worthwhile sharing something that's worked for me. So I want to go through this topic in two stages. In the first stage, I want to take you through a sample resume which is based on my resume. And in the second part, I'll take you through a sample cover letter which is again based on my cover letter. And then we'll summarize all these important uh, tips and the things that we talked about. So moving on to the first part. So the first section of the resume should be your personal details section uh, where you put down your name, your real role title. This could be your current role title or the role title that you're applying for, followed by your personal contact details. I would refrain from putting down my whole address and just mention the city and state and then uh, the phone number. After that, I'll put down a professional email. By professional email, I mean um, you don't you don't want to put an email that sounds inappropriate or very casual, and you also don't want to put an email um, of the company that you're working for currently. It just means that it's a professional sounding email. That's all. I would also put down my LinkedIn URL here. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, I would also recommend you to create one. The next section would be a professional summary section. This is also called a career profile in some cases. This is just three to six lines about what do you do presently um, and what is your future ambition? What do you want to do? So a present position with over dash years of experience in the field, including uh, gathering research, development of application, utilizing so-and-so principles and uh, I'm passionate about implementing these practices across teams to create more value. For a university student, this would look slightly different in terms of content, like you would say a final year student with a, a specialization in this field with project experience around like just few uh, things that you've done and seeking an entry level position in so and so role title. The next section would be your skill section. It's also called competencies in some cases. So I have broadly classified them into two subsections. One is project management skills or your soft skills, and then your technical or your industry-wide skills. The project management skills are basically your methodology, like there's an industry methodology, like Agile or Scrum, or the tools that are used to do that, Jira, or some other tools or ways in which you manage project within your university or within your wider workplace you can mention it here if you have and then um, your interpersonal or other soft skills such as communication time management leadership teamwork client servicing etc and then your industry skills i'll put down the skills in bullets or if they are similar skills that are similar technologies that are that are usually used to achieve the same outcome i'll put them down in groups the next section would be your achievement section i would say this is a very important section this is like a usp of your whole resume you want to mention your top achievements and you want to provide figures here you want to quantify your achievements here so an example looks like um, uh, innovation approach for business improvements and then some of the points like facilitated senior management's operational work by organizing some trainings or presentations, learned and implemented new tools such as so and so to ensure quality deliverables and productivity, uh, contributed to set up Dash which reduced um, the execution effort by around 20% or you increased sales by around so and so figure then brought innovation to existing areas of project by implementing features like this 
and mentored five freshers and collaborated with senior leads managers for timely project deliveries the next subsection is your professional recognition which you can also mention here some of the awards that you've received within your team or uh, any sort of team awards that you have received or you were recognized by your senior management for something you can put it down here for university students the section may sound a bit irrelevant but um, you can write down your university projects here in a detailed manner some of the technologies that you used within those projects and uh, and also the tools that you used and you can also mention about the grades that you received for those projects like you got a distinction or you got to be a part of some kind of um, uh, technical events or any other events within across universities so you can mention that as well the next section would be your professional experience section now this is your experience placed in a reverse chronological order i want to place my current experience first followed by my previous experience so like first the role title at company and the timeline and i will place all my duties and responsibilities in sort of a consistent tense like um, present tense develop assist explore in that kind of a tense to avoid any sort of confusion and then uh, the examples are like develop feature for so and so assist in implementing the so if you were not directly involved in something if you were not directly leading it but you helped your wider team or your leads in implementing some features you can mention it here then your next role title now if you were within a company for a longer duration and you have changed teams or you have changed projects you can mention those in sub categories here like i've done it here project 1 and i'll give a brief um, sort of one liner about what that solution was solution to provide complete the dash and then the responsibilities such as explore configuration of run workshops presentations or test so and so framework in the project and then i can also mention the customer or client name here if you had to deal with some kind of customer and um, like troubleshoot something advice on improvement provide customer support for something similarly for another project some of the terms that i'll use are analysis research on something visualize using any tool that you used you can mention it here the next section would be your education section i'll just mention the degree and the specialization university and the place and the timeline from where and the timeline at which it was achieved now for university students you want to take care of writing like one or two more lines where you mention your grade or you mention that uh, you know uh, which division you graduated in you want to add that as well your cgpa or gpa you can add that as well the next section would be your honors and certifications it's also called professional development now i'll place the industry certifications if i've got any here and usually they have a credential id as well i'll place that and the timeline in which it was achieved now university students again you can place some um, reference to any kind of societies that you were a part of within your university or you held some positions within those societies even that you can mention here the next section would be your internships and volunteering section here i'll place all my freelance boot camp or other internships unpaid internships that i was a part of the timeline for it like what the program was about and what were some of the projects like projects included user testing of something or creating a visualization tool or doing some market research for a particular event or mentoring a group of people i can also mention some other activities beyond work that i've done like community community services through an ngo or an organization and the last section would be my references section i usually write available on request here but if you have some professional references and you can also provide the name and email um directly as well for university students it could be your faculty members 
or uh, your professors or anyone and after you of course spoken with them you can place them here in this category so that's a two page resume and uh, I don't want to clutter all of these for people who have a lot of experience. I would still just put down two or three points because it is not practical for a recruiter to go through all of this. They will not. So your resume at first glance should capture most of your important things. I hope this will be helpful. Resumes are usually accompanied by a cover letter and we'll be talking more about this in the next part of the video. Thank you. The content shared in this video is based on personal experience and research. If you enjoyed the video, like, share and subscribe. Keep watching, keep listening and continue learning.